Last time the Celtics played a finals game here on this floor, it was game six in 2008 when they beat the Lakers by 39 to win the championship. They're in the postseason so far at home. They're seven and two, whereas the Lakers just four and four on the road so far in these playoffs. Garnett trying to get on track. Nice move. And that's a big bucket for Garnett and his confidence. Been struggling mightily in the first two games, especially on the offensive end. Talk about game two. Started off the same way with Kevin Garnett scoring, but it was a fortunate basket. That time it was a big time post. -game. Gasol against Perkins. Artest left open. Now Garnett comes up to contest. Shot clock at three. Won't go. Allen the rebound. Celtics will look to push. Lob to Garnett. Garnett had two field goals the entire game, too. He's got two in the first minute. But if you remember late in that game, they threw him an alley-oop. He tried to catch it with one hand. There he caught it with two and put it down. Bryant misses. Again, Rondo pushing up the floor. Alley-oop to Garnett again. Of the other lake is that a got to be a concern. That's too easy. Kevin Garnett outrunning every big on the floor. Rondo doing a great job of getting him involved in transition. The Garnett struggles have been a hot topic as they go to Bynum. Bynum misses the dunk. Our test right there, and he lays it in. And the Lakers get on the board. Floor struggling. The worst thing to do is allow him to get some easy lane. All of a sudden, he establishes a rhythm and gains confidence. Our test Trips up Allen, and Allen hurt. Looked like he got a Charlie horse. As he lies down, Artest quickly picks up his second, and that's been one of the stories of the first two games. There's a key player who picks up two quick fouls before you break a sweat. Not a smart play by Ron Artest, because now, all of a sudden, Luke Walton comes into the ball game. Please. As Pierce isolates against Walton. Perkins, the offensive rebound, knocked away, picked up by Garnett. Walton only played in one of the first two games. There's Rondo, a little shake and bake, and knocks down the jumper. Well, that's where he's become so dangerous. He's starting to hit that on a consistent basis. It's all calling for it. Fisher on the drive. Good aggressive move. Count it and a foul. And Derek Fisher gets on the board. A chance for a three-point play. Out of Celtics, Kevin Garnett. Playing Paul Gasol on the top side. Paul Pierce allows Fisher to go baseline where there's no help. The ability to get all the way to the cup and take the contact. And you're right, Garnett was too high on that on the top side. That's his help responsibility there. He's got to adjust on the dribble, get behind, and then trap the baseline drive. Walt not Pierce. Pierce on the pull-up. Pierce has not shot the ball well in the first couple of games. Perkins, another offensive board blocked by Bryant. Rondo inside. Back out Allen. That's a three. And Bynum. All stolen by Rondo. Left-handed. He banks it in. Rondo all over the place once again. Slight tear of his knee. Still playing very effectively, especially in game two. Now Gasol misses. Here's the rebound. And I like that matchup. Perkins on Gasol. Rondo looking. Garnett back to Rondo. Good ball movement. They did an excellent job in game two. 28 assists on their 36 field goals. Or a regular season game in the middle of February. It's the same thing night after night. As the shot clock winds down for the Lakers, Perkins picks up Walton. Has to put it up and puts it in. Nice shot from Walton. And Kobe Bryant on Rondo, and Fisher is on Ray Allen. Pierce, Rondo tipping it. You alluded to at the top mark, Rondo. He's a talented rebounder. His timing is terrific, and those long arms. Bryant hearts to the basket and draws the foul. And I think right there, Paul Pierce has to realize he's guarding Luke Walton. You know, it's more difficult to deal with in transition because your help is not set. It's the same thing with Kobe Bryant. If you can't get your help set, he's going to have more gaps and more ability to work his way to the free throw line. Let me remix the crowd yelling that Kobe is not good. Do you think they really <laughs> believe that? <laughs> With his dribble two on the clock, 
Ray Allen fires, in and out. So after that great start the other night, he's 0 for 4 to start here this evening. But you see the defense by Fisher. He's not giving him any airspace, making those shots a little tougher. Kobe Bryant and a foul. And Rondo picks up his second personal. And again, the cross match, Kobe Bryant guarding Rondo, leaves Rondo on Bryant. That's not a foul. And they said he hit him on the elbow, and I like that call. I thought he hit him right on the elbow. Any shooter knows you, you get that elbow in the act of shooting the ball. It makes all the difference. So obviously he didn't for Brian because he still put it in. I'm glad you're looking at me and not this guy next to us. <laughs> <laughs> Rasheed Wallace has Walton on him, and he wants the ball. Wallace, a good passer, gets it inside, and Garnett, four for four. Kyle Gasol decided to half double Rasheed Wallace as he posted up a good job by Wallace finding Garnett. Ryan wants to post up. Odom steps back, banks it in. A three pointer for Odom and knocks it in off the glass as his teammates get a kick out of it. The Lakers by two after trailing early by seven. So a nine point turnaround for LA. Garnett so aggressive inside. He said his first five from the field. But if you see, he's made a dramatic change in his approach. Instead of taking turnaround jump shots where Gasol can impact with his length, he is taking it right to his body. The first one was an up and under move. That he used the rim as Gasol scores on the other end. To take away the length of Gasol, he's attacking his body. Gasol tipped by Wallace. Bryant for three. And Davis the rebound. Davis with some big minutes in game two in the victory in Los Angeles. Allen spots up. Gasol blocks the shot. Odom the rebound. That's a great job by Powell Gasol chasing down Ray Allen in the corner. That's a big shot attempt to block. Inside pass. And a foul on the pass. It's going to go against Pierce. And now that's two on Pierce. And you can't run this break any better. Rondo puts it on point, but Powell Gasol does not quit on the play. Look at that limp. Outstanding job of blocking the three-point attempt of Allen. Certainly is offensively. He got better and better and better. Ryan hits the free throw. Lakers by four. Got some lead changes. Final minute, first quarter. Great start in the Celtics. And a terrific recovery by the Lakers. Pretty pass. Tony Allen can't finish. But a foul was called. So now Allen will go to the line. Nate Robinson's going to get some early minutes. Absolutely physically spent. He had played the entire first three quarters. Sat down, and Robinson had seven points in those six minutes. Rondo caught his breath, came back out, and took over the game. Four-point Laker lead. Brown inside. Shoots it over with Baby Davis. Shot clock down to five. Robinson. Wallace for three. Fisher ahead to Odom. Odom on the drive. Gets inside. And a foul. Wallace hit him in the head. And a chance for a three-point play as the Lakers have opened up an eight-point lead. But they shot too early. And that allowed what should have been a last shot of the quarter situation to turn into a three-point play. Good advance pass by Derek Fisher. Good attack by Lamar Odom. Poor transition defense by the Celtics. And you can't have touch fouls. And Lamar Odom getting himself going. Again, coming in, the first two games, he had more fouls than points. He had more fouls than rebounds. He's got five points, three boards in just six quick minutes. And uh, hits the free throw. Point seven remaining. Davis will not get it off in time. And that will end the first quarter as the Lakers end with a 21 to 5 run. Celtics came. Our test has two for LA. Wallace, quick turnaround. Bryant already with four rebounds. Tony Allen on Bryant, Bryant to the basket, banks it in, and a foul. 
Good aggressive move from Kobe Bryant. He's got nine points, and it's a double-figure lead for L.A. In a quandary, do you help off the corner or do you stay at home? Rasheed Wallace arm help. Glenn Davis late. Tony Allen's doing his job. That help has to come earlier, and I really think the, the free throw differential didn't cost them in game two, but you play at a 15 free throw differential. Right now it's an eight free throw differential. Hey, Allen's standing in the corner, so you have to give all out help and be able to get back to your man. Right, it was Luke Walton initially, and then Lamar Odom, like a fisher from that corner three. But I think I agree with you, not Lamar Odom, not Luke Walton. Davis. He's gonna have trouble over the length of Bynum. Backs in, up, knocked away. Good help again from the Laker defense. Laker defense that was so impressive in game one. Shannon Brown pulls up, knocks down the jumper, and it's a 14-point Laker lead. And I think Doc Rose is gonna call a timeout. Mm -hmm. The Celtics struggling after that initial burst of energy. They're shooting just 33% from the field. And again, the only field goals so far are from Garnett and Rondo. Evans. Oh, my God. Interesting substitution in the first quarter when Kevin Garnett was rolling about two and change left to go. Doc Rivers and Nate Robinson knocked down that jump shot, decided to take Kevin Garnett out of the ball game. That was a quandary. When you talk about waiting for this guy to explode, he all of a sudden establishes a rhythm, and now he's, he's got to find it again when he gets back into the ball game. That's their first field goal in six and a half minutes. You heard Doc Rivers, or perhaps saw him, say extra pass, extra pass. That's what he keeps telling his team. They admit it there. Bynum. Nice post move from Andrew Bynum. And to go along with what Mark said, I'm going to go back to him right now. We're struggling. He's rolling. And right now, they have no post presence because the link is bothering Glenn Davis. Robinson reached in to knock it away, but they call him for a foul. That's his first. You listen to Doc Rivers huddle. They got the stops in game two, and they held the Lakers to 41% shooting. Farmar banks it in. They are not getting the stop so far tonight. You give this Laker bench a lot of credit. They've been challenged. 15 points in game one. Found a way all of a sudden to respond. 14 points already in game three. Wallace, not close. 15-point Laker lead. Two and a half gone by here in the second. Our test back in after picking up those two quick fouls. Nice bounce pass to Odom, and Odom gets it to go. Lamar Odom, excellent job off the bench with eight points already. That's as many points as he had the first two games combined. Here's nice lead pass, big baby. Oh, guy that size with that kind of agility and soft hands. Because it made their last seven shots from the field. They're shooting 56%. Farmar's bad pass winds up in the hands of our test. Shannon Brown. Robinson creating the floater. Boy, he can score points in a hurry. Talked about it earlier in the game with the Knicks before he was traded to Boston. Had a 41-point game off the bench. Out. And Kuzi has become a big fan of Rajon Rondo, even though Rondo's broken some of his records. Perkins gets all up on Bynum. Here comes Allen. When you talk about those former greats, it's not like guys hanging around saying what I used to do. No, it's a fact what those guys used to do and how great they were. Just have to look up at the Raptors as Garnett puts it in. Garnett, six of eight from the field. And while coming up at halftime, a very interesting conversation. A couple of point guards, Magic Johnson and Rajon Rondo. The salt nearly tips it in twice. Garnett, the rebound. That's coming up. And the halftime report. Rondo right to the basket. Kobe Bryant mad at himself, and rightfully so, tried to gamble in the backcourt and paid the price. And that wakes up the crowd. Nine straight points now for the Celtics. After trailing by 17, they're with an eight. Bynum. And to me, they've got to find Garnett back in the post some. Pierce, wild shot. Pierce, 0 for 6. Alley-oop. 
Perfect pass from Brian Gasol to finish. And perfect timing, too. Could have gave it to Gasol early. Instead, waited until he got into his spot. Barnett had that great start in his first five. He's six of eight overall. Shot off there by Gasol. Shot clock down to three. Rondo makes his move, flips it up. Won't go. Perkins with the tip in. Looked like it should have been offensive goaltending, and the Lakers upset about it. 24 for LA. Bryant the pull up. Perkins rips that one down. Quick outlet to Allen. Two on one break. Allen goes up. Can't get it to go. And an offensive foul call. Derek Fisher taking the charge as Ray Allen picks up his first. I thought that was an excellent call. The Lakers are gambling in the backcourt, which is opening up them for transition opportunities. Good position by Fisher. Takes the hit. You've got to get a basket on a two-on-one. Derek Fisher always amongst the lead leaders in drawing charges. Does it there as his team leads by 10. Oh, and you got a demand. Garnett, similar in, in some aspects as well with Boston, can be very rough on the teammates. But you know what, Mike? You make a good point. But give me Kobe Bryant as a teammate any day of the week because I know the guy is going to leave it on the floor. He's an all-time great competitor. He's an all-time great player, and he's going to make me better. Phil, ja Phil Jackson raving about, though, how last couple of years he's really learned to be a better teammate and trusting him on the floor. Rondo sets up Pierce. Pierce finally gets one to go. He was 0 for 6 from the field. That's his first three-pointer of the series. Conversation between you know, former great point guard, Hall of Famer Magic Johnson, and Rajon Rondo, who has been in many ways the best player in the 2010 playoffs. Lakers by eight, two minutes remaining in the half. Bryant can't get it to fall. Bryant trying to keep it alive. Bryant takes it away from Garnett. Finds Bryant inside. Counted and a foul. Great hustle play from Kobe Bryant. And a chance for a three-point play for the Lakers. Again, not snatching the ball with two hands. Tipping it with one. Leaves it loose and leads to a Bryant hustle play and a Bynum finish, but it all starts with the one-hand rebound attempt by Garnett. You have to rebound the ball in traffic with two. Garnett's foul his first. Bynum was coming off the best playoff game of his career. He hadn't played, obviously, a lot. 39 total playoff games, but he was terrific in game two in that Laker loss. Bynum finishing with 21 points at seven block shots. Lakers set a finals record for a team with 14 blocks. Pierce draws the foul. And Pierce gets to the line for the first time tonight. The, floor. the beauty of the Celtics is they can have one of their key players have an off night offensively and others to pick up the slack. Don't know if they can do it with both guys having such off nights. I really think the only way that they're going to score in bunches is pushing the ball. Pushing the ball off of makes and misses, and obviously that's when they've been most effective in this series. Bryant gets away from Rondo. Oh, what a pretty move. Left-handed floats it in. Kobe Bryant, 14 points here in the first half. He has been superb. Pierce doubled up. Garnett, the drive, gets inside again. Banks it in. How about Garnett? First two games, 22 points total. He's got 14 in the first half in game three. Aggressive and looking to attack. Not Southern for jump shots. Going at Pau Gasol. Bryant. Oh, soft touch between two Celtics. Now you can tell already, Kobe Bryant has his foot on the gas pedal. Hasn't been hot yet, but he certainly is getting his looks and putting pressure on this Celtic defense. Here's Stubble. Dangerous pass. Rondo able to get it. Shot clock down to three. Rondo's going to have to put it up. Steps back. Too short. Garnett the rebound. And Garnett is fouled. Luke Walton upset with a call. And that puts the Lakers in the penalty. So free throws coming up for Boston. Rebound. But because he rebounded with two. 
he was able to hold on to it as Walton fouled him, and he earned his way to the free throw line. Well, he has played well here in the first half. Celtic 6 of 12 from the free throw line. Shot clock. About a second difference with the game clock. Nice backdoor. Walton inside. Bynum blocked by Garnett, but a foul. Lee Garnett won't let the follow shot even after the whistle go in, but he picks up the personal. That's his second. But because of the pressure that the Celtics put on the Lakers that time, they're going to get another possession. It forced the Lakers to go early. Luke Walton in trouble. Backdoor, and they got to go towards the hoop to try to get a quick possession and a quality look on the offensive end. And he matches up Lamar Odom on, on Paul Pierce. Hey. Vujicic is on Ray Allen. Shot clock turned off. Celtics look to hold it for the final shot of the half. Crab getting on its feet. Pierce steps back, puts it up. And fittingly for the Celtics, that's the way the first half ends. Trouble shooting the basketball as Pierce just one of eight from the floor. And the Lakers, after that tough home loss in game two, have a 12-point lead third quarter in game two resulted in a wide open but made three Ray Allen same mistake by Bryant leads to a wide open three he misses and that is the vulnerability of the three-point shot as Garnett I mean as Gasol knocks it in now Gasol having a nice all-around game as 8.7 boards and three assists leads back to 14 the highest it was with 17 Garnett Continues his hot shooting night. Eight for ten from the field. Garnett to get the long. I thought a bad possession by Bryant had Gasol fresh off of making a jump shot on the block, turned him down to get his own action, and then missed a tough jump shot. Here's jump shot. That's a three. Just his second field goal of the night. They're both three-pointers, and it brings the Celtics within nine. Crowd looking for something to cheer. They were pretty quiet on that great run from the Lakers. Fisher trying to answer with a three. Bynum the rebound. Bynum tied up. Hits under the backboard. Has it blocked. The soul trying to get it. Knocked. And it's going to be Celtic ball. Excellent post defense from Boston. A little help from the bench. For a good sign. It's what really hurt them in game one. All the second chance points. Garnett, nice pass. And a foul call on Fisher. Three fouls on Derek Fisher from the field. Old shooters in the history of the league. And now sometimes getting to the free throw line and seeing them. They're asking him before the game, who are shooters that he loves? He said, first guy he mentioned, Dale Ellis. Another guy, Dell Curry, said had the quickest release. And then he mentioned Reggie Miller. Surprisingly enough, all three of those guys, former teammates of mine. <laughs> Here comes Rondo off the turnover. Looking. Allen for three. And he got a piece of it. I think Artest got a piece of it. He's done that twice now on him. And that's where he's got to drive versus the hard closeout to run him off his shot. It's also where the Lakers are making the second effort defensively to contest. And Perkins, I think it's on Perkins, or is it Pierce? Paul Pierce just picked up his fourth foul, and that's a bad foul, obviously. And Pierce is going to have to sit down. Four. Well, I'm Doc Rivers. I leave him in the ball game, but I make sure he stays on Ron Artest. I don't want him guarding Kobe Bryant because it's too much pressure for him to pick up that fifth. Even good, solid game, but he hasn't shot well. Six of 17. But this just in, he's not going to stop. <laughs> He's 0 for 4 from downtown. Garnett to the basket and gets hit hard. Good hard playoff foul will send Garnett to the free throw line. But his whole mindset has to been to go to the basket on his post-up game and his face-up game versus trying to create space for a jump shot. He sees Gasol crowding him. Good inside pivot, good attack, and good foul by Bynum. Trying to fire himself up. That's normally not a problem. And as Bynum picks up his first. Spit on my head and make a wish as he rubbed it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you ask him that question? Why? I still feel bad. 
hope your brother Stan stepped in and protected you. It I was Stan that did it. <laughs> <laughs> Celtics within seven. Fisher fakes. Rondo got a piece of it. And Fisher got the shot off. He also got a piece of the arm. And Rondo has picked up his third foul. I think you're being very nice. That's three non-shooters. Now, are they capable of making shots? Yes. But those are three non-shooters. Lead back to nine. And Davis, a very small lineup out there for Boston. And with Ray Allen struggling to score tonight, where are they going to get their offense? Now that's a heck of a question when you look at this Celtic lineup on the floor right now. This is an offensive challenge. Gasol, single cover John Perkins. He prides himself on that. Bryant, tough shot, banks it in. He's got 20. Fisher up on Allen. Ray Allen 0 for 10 tonight. Inside pass, Tony Allen, and the finish. Good read by Ray Allen, putting the ball on the floor and making the play for Tony Allen. For six minutes, they've gotten some points at the free throw line. And yep. Kendrick Perkins doesn't need help here. And he's one of the best in the league in post defense. Bryant on the pull up, gets it to go again. Bryant's had some very big road games in these playoffs. You see the mentality of Bryant struggling a little bit from the field, so he gets something going to the paint area. All of a sudden, confidence, and he sees the ball going into the rim. Now he can get to his spot, elevate over the contested hand. That's Shot clock at eight. Ray Allen's got the soul on him, trying to take him off the dribble. Inside pass. And it's still going to be Celtic ball. Maybe they call a foul. Yep, they do call a foul. Hard to hear the whistle there. Minutes that he gets. And it's back to seven. The largest lead was 17. And Celtic starting to hit their free throws. They've hit all eight here in the period. And for the bad first half, a deflection but right to Bryant. Great feet there by Glenn Davis as Bryant takes another jump shot. Guarding the leaner Lamar Odom did a great job of keeping him in front. Coming up on two and a half left in the third. Rondo, Tony Allen, left open. In and out. Nine rebounds for Gasol. Shannon Brown looking for Fisher. Good job from Tony Allen fighting through the screen. Gasol tipped by Rasheed Wallace. He's done that a couple of times tonight. But again, they're not running with their big guys like their starting bigs run. Tony Allen the drive. Banks it in. Kobe Bryant wanted a charge. Just good aggressive move from Tony Allen. Under two minutes remaining. Here in the third quarter of game three, Celtic fans starting to come alive. Their team down by as many as 17 have cut it to five. And a whistle away from the ball. With a 14 foul as Rasheed Wallace picks up his second. By seven in the opening minutes, came out on fire. And then the Lakers went on a huge run, a 24-point turnaround in the first half. Allen again deflects it. Bryant, the three, puts it in. Kobe Bryant from downtown. Those are the shots. The great player makes a tough shot. He's got 25 inside to Wallace. Wallace, back shot. Once again, Wallace contributing off the bench. Bryant, shot clock down to seven. Final minute, third quarter. Falling away, double clutch, won't go. Odom couldn't get it, Rondo tipped it away. Celtics have numbers. Allen to Rondo, nice pass, Tony Allen. But the Lakers are getting into the habit of give it to Bryant and think he's gonna do it all. That was a very unaggressive post move by Pau Gasol. Tony Allen, six points off the bench here in the third quarter. 
Celtics bench with 10. Gasol quiets the crowd momentarily. That's why if I'm Paul Gasol, my mindset is I need some more touches. I'm too skilled to just catch it every now and then. Gasol's been terrific. 62% shooting in this series and 57% from the playoffs. He's four of nine tonight. Shot clock is off. Rondo against Fisher. Pulls back, jump shot. At the buzzer, won't go. And the third quarter will come to an end. This team still has some issues, but they have shown great resiliency, especially the way they bounce back that disappointing loss in game two. They've been very strong here tonight. And they'll have a jump ball. And I thought Rondo right there should have turned the corner and think and score. It's going to open up his passing lanes more. Talk about if you said to him, well, KD has 19 points, he'd be excited. The problem is that Rondo Pierce and Allen have 19 also combined. Tony Allen to Glenn Davis. It's a four-point game. Allen and Davis again providing the energy off the bench. Shannon Brown and Jordan Farmer at the backcourt right now for the Lakers as Kobe Bryant getting that early fourth quarter rest. And a foul is going to go, I believe, against Paul Pierce. Pierce has not been able to get anything going. That's his fifth foul. He's just two of nine from the field. He's played sporadic minutes because of the foul problems. The two of them jostling for position. Pierce is the one that got caught, and he'll sit down, and Ray Allen will return. And Kobe Bryant comes in for Ron Artest. And I feel for Paul Pierce, because to me, post play is so hard to judge. And you see Wallace upset. And as he's called for the foul, Gasol. Wallace did that little dance and run away did in the Orlando series and he got hit with a technical official showing good restraint here that's good defense by Rasheed Wallace hands straight up but you're right you guys got to be careful because running away after calls like that will cost you a technical foul this is the free throw, but again, good restraint because, hey, it's the playoffs. It's a huge finals game. Give the guy some chance to express his emotion. He's obviously upset. And you missed the call, so don't compound it. We're calling it technical. You saw one for two. Rondo. Davis wants the ball against Odom. Odom's still taller than him. Davis pulls his way in and banks it in. What a tough move for Glenn Davis. Once again, great minutes from Glenn Davis. Here goes Rondo. Shuffle pass Davis. And an offensive foul. Farmar steps in and draws the charge. That's good defense by Jordan Farmar. Double high screen. Your job as the guard is to get back into the play. So rather than quitting on the play, he gets in position, takes the hit from Glenn Davis. A clear offensive foul. But you love the energy by Davis. Puts him in an isolation situation, and he attacks the body of Lamar Odom. That's the first Celtic turnover of the second half. They only had two turnovers in the second half of game two. Rondo deflects it, but it goes to Brown. Shannon Brown, the drive. Bryant puts up a three. Rondo looks to push. Rondo to the basket, flips it up, banks it in. One point game. Lakers. His history, he's 0 for 11 and could tie the worst shooting performance in NBA Finals history, which is 0 for 14. Dennis Johnson, one of those who had it, he did it with Seattle. Fisher to the basket. Oh, tough drive from Derek Fisher. And the Lakers back up by three. So check on him. And because of Paul Pierce coming back into the game, Phil Jackson calls on Ron Artest, waiting at the scores table. Garnett jumper, knocks it down. What a game for Garnett. 21 points. And just coming in, his first touch since sitting out over eight minutes, he doesn't hesitate, and he knocks it in. 
Luke Walton playing some big minutes for the Lakers. Got clock down to seven again. Fisher from way downtown. Odom, the offensive rebound and the putback. Odom with his best game of the series, 10 points, four rebounds. Tripling. This is no resemblance to the triangle offense. Rondo gets it to Davis. Davis goes reverse, misses the layup. But a foul call, and Davis will shoot more free throws. Lakers upset. Bill Jackson says to Bynum, calm down. One of them elbows around. Called him Action Jackson. You're a little too young to remember that. <laughs> Bill Jackson with 10 NBA titles, and as we said in game one, this is his 13th final in the last 20 years. Think about what you just said. Unbelievable. 13 finals in 20 years. He and Bill Russell have dominated the finals. Fisher misses. Bynum the rebound. The putback won't go. Still loose and Garnett comes away with it. Rondo. And good transition defense from the Lakers. Just over five minutes gone by. Fourth quarter, two-point game. Rondo to the basket. Davis, the offensive rebound, knocked out of his hands, dives on it, but can't hold on. Ryan against Pierce. Our chest. Rondo falls down. Fisher trying to force it in and gets it to go. Derek Fisher gives the Lakers a four-point lead. What a playoff performer he has been over the years. And he's been a big part of all of them. And these are shots that he works on every single day. So he puts himself in position when the lights are on to knock them down. Derek Fisher with a big time lead. Been above and beyond. Great. Fisher, a contested shot, gets it to go again. Derek Fisher, not afraid to take the big shots. Give me this guy any day of the week. Certainly not afraid for what I talked about before the break. He puts the time in. Garnett inside the Davis. Davis banks it in and a foul. Big baby with a big impact once again. And him taken out of the game. Less shot blocking in there. Kobe Bryant a little bit late on the rotation. And Big Baby making faces to the crowd. <laughs> Second, oh, sticking out I, your tongue. I don't agree with that. When you talk about what this guy has done, he's put his team in position because of his energy, his passion, and playing with force. He's earned the right to pose, Big Baby. This defense has been outstanding. Too much dribbling by the Celtics. Good defense from our chest. Almost steals it. Yes, knocks it off of Davis's leg, and it's Laker ball. And that's what you want from a guy. Don't just surrender an entry pass. Active hands in the passing lane, and then pursuing the basketball, and so crafty with that left hand, knocks it off the body of Glenn Davis. Great call by Bennett Salvatore. Fisher again banks it in. Derek Fisher. Huge contributions here in the fourth quarter. Eight points, and it's a five-point game. And that one-two pick and roll is right now killing the Celtics. They're trying to show instead of switching, and Fish is turning the corner. Fisher hounding, and just a little too aggressive on his denial on Ray Allen. So Fisher picks up his fifth foul, and the Lakers with their 14th foul. And the problem is, if you switch this, then Rondo's on Bryant. If you just show, then Fish is going to his strong hand, which is his left. Rondo got away with some contact, but Fisher right now having his way. And that's where Rondo gambling from behind makes it easier for Fisher to line up a wide open shot. Pierce knocks down the three, and it's back to a two-point game. He's three for ten from the field, but three for four from downtown. Under four to play. And the Celtics this time switch it. Odom the drive. Oh, pretty move from Odom. Odom's five for five from the field.
for seven from three-point range. Unbelievable after his record-setting performance in game two. Bryant off the mark. Davis another rebound. Under three to play. Garnett spins, puts it up, puts it in. Kevin Garnett. What a game he's had. 23 points more than the first two games combined. Just saw a big height advantage here. Davis goes for the steal. Back out Fisher. Right back in the post. Gasol spinning, banks in. Uh, height advantage too much there. And Doc Rivers wants timeout. Smart play to go right back to Gasol after the first time it didn't work. Talk about that size, the ability to just shoot over Glenn Davis because he's smaller. The patience of Powell Gasol gets to his spot and eliminates Glenn Davis out of the picture. A number of years left in him. And he is showing it once again in the playoffs. Garnett pulls up, knocks it down again. Kevin Garnett with 25, and it's a two-point game. And that's good defense by Paul Gasol, but better offense by Kevin Garnett. Defense! 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 Celtics have a foul to give. Brian on the drive. Allen stays with him. Brian rises up, knocks it down. That's his first points. On the fourth quarter, tough shot by Bryant, 10 for 28, a lot of bad shots tonight. He's trying to get on track. He's had a rough shooting night, except from three. Garnett double team. Knocked out of bounds, still Celtic ball, 13 to shoot. Lakers felt that it was off Garnett. Now they can check it on the replay if they want. And we're gonna have a timeout. A 20 second timeout, and they will review that play. So it's going to be, if it is, it's going to be like the ball. And if Doc Rivers hadn't called the timeout, they wouldn't have reviewed it. Because until Phil Jackson made the request, they were not going to review that. Great hands from Bryant. And then you see after he slapped it away, it went off the fingertips of Garnett after it left his hand. That's a good call and the right call. And obviously the rule. Gets the right thing going here, so it's Laker ball with 1.29 remaining. In the fourth quarter, they had four total in the first three. Lakers haven't turned it over in the fourth. Completely different from game two. Bryant pulls up. Won't go. Rebound. Odom tips it. Rondo trying to get it. Knocked out of bounds. And it's still... It, well, Danny Crawford says jump ball. It looked like Rondo touched it last. And now Doc Rivers looks at Danny Crawford and says, why don't you take a look at that? Oh, now on the replay. That looks like it's off Odom. Yeah, it looked me. like it was off Odom. Absolutely. Ball call that's really good is it gives him the option, even if it's inconclusive, he can go with one or the other. Right. But a minute remaining. Ray Allen for three. Let go again, Allen off the mark. And again, 0 for 13 from the field. Same type of makes he had. Fisher to the basket, gets hammered, and he puts it in. Derek Fisher hard to the basket. And the Lakers go up by six with 48.3 remaining. But the Celtics played that like the game was over. Trotting back, no transition defense, no urgency. 10 points now in the period for Fisher. Gets hammered, still gets it to go, and he can add to the lead. The foul is on Glenn Davis, his third. You talked before about Kobe Bryant, has so much admiration and respect for his longtime teammate. And how about Ray Allen after that magnificent performance in game? Two, he's 0 for 13 and 0 for 8 from three-point range. And they've been good looks. Now Doc Rivers will call a full timeout. Pierce looking for an opening. 
Pierce on the drive, gets inside, and banks it in, and a foul! Paul Pierce with a chance for the traditional three-point play. Phil Jackson can't believe it. That's a lot of time still left in this ball game. You want to extend your defense. Ball knocked out of bounds. Hey. That it's Laker ball, but they're going to review it again. And now paint area trying to get the offensive rebound. Yeah, but he fouls him. See, the problem is here, it's clearly off Odom. But Rondo clearly fouled him to knock it off Odom. Right. And that's not reviewable. Right. The foul isn't. I'm thinking two for one. I'm thinking about going quick right here. Rondo looking for Allen. Allen trying to find room on the drive. Gets inside. Offensive foul. Garnett on a moving screen. And the Lakers get the ball. And Ray Allen had a dead layup and still couldn't put it in, even though it wouldn't have counted. And this is the correct call. Clearly a shove by Kevin Garnett. An unnecessary one because Ray Allen had already turned the corner. And Garnett picks up his fourth because it's an offensive foul. You don't shoot. Now do they have to foul here, Jeff? I think absolutely. Vujicic in the game. And I would have fouled Vujicic on the catch. He hasn't played. And there's the foul. Vujicic just coming in. He played 11 seconds so far tonight before coming in here now. So Sasha Vujicic was a big part of the team in 2008 when they lost to the Celtics. Not playing that much in these playoffs. These are his first free throws of this series. In fact, his first free throws of the playoffs. Mike, but if you're a great free throw shooter, you're a great free throw shooter. I saw Jeff Van Gundy with a suit and tie on, <laughs> knock down free throw after free throw. 85% during the season, but he only took 33 free throws all season. But pressure right there. Vujicic, cold, goes to the line, knocks down two, and it's 11 of his 16 here in the fourth quarter. Once again, a clutch performer at the most important time of the year. They go alley-oop to Garnett, has to come down, and then throws it away. And the Lakers are going to regain home court advantage. They come to Boston and beat the Celtics here in game three. A terrific victory for L.A. They led almost the entire game. And withstood a furious rally by the Celtics. The place was going crazy here in the fourth quarter. But Derek Fisher and the Lakers hold off the Celtics. Defense forcing turnovers. Lakers had four turnovers through the first three quarters. Six of them here in the fourth quarter. And the Lakers lead the NBA Finals two games to one. Paul Pierce lets it go in, 91 to 84. And a big road victory for Los Angeles. Silence in the crowd, Kobe Bryant and his backcourt partner who played more playoff games, had more playoff wins than any starting backcourt in the history of the NBA, get another victory. Bryant and Fisher getting it done, especially Derek Fisher at crunch time he's done it again come May and June you can count on Derek Fisher as the Celtics walk off disappointed Ray Allen 0 for 13 from the field 0 for 8 from three-point range after that magnificent record-setting performance in game two well let's go to that backcourt it's done it again Doris yeah, quite a combination, Mike. Jeff Van Gundy called the shots you made in the fourth quarter will shots. What would you call them? Sorry. <laughs> uh, just faith, man. You know, I'm sorry I'm getting emotional, but, you know, we we work hard in this game. And uh, sometimes things don't go your way, but you just got to keep working hard, keep believing in yourself and in your team. And this is just a great win for our organization. And uh, we're not done yet. We got a big game on Thursday night. Big win, but why so emotional? You know, I, I love this game. Um, I love this team. I love this guy. I love what I do. And um, nothing means more to me than helping my team win. Well, you did that, Derek. Thank Congratulations. Go be your backcourt mate, who you've always put so much faith in. You struggled out of the gates in that fourth period, 0 for 4. As you watched what he did, what was your reaction to it? Well, just, you know, Derek being Derek. I mean, he makes big plays all the time. And, uh, you know, it never ceases to amaze me. The only guy who really played at a high level for most of the night, 
a, a lot of guys played hard, but he was at the highest level offensively. How do you guys absorb that second half where you struggled so much and still come away with a win? Oh, uh, yeah, we just had to be poised, and uh, you understand that they're going to make a run. And, uh, you know, we did that. You know, they, they made a push, but they never really got fully control of the game. We made big shots when the counter. Kobe, thank you. Yeah. Mike. All right, Doris, the Celtics are never able to regain the lead. They came back from 17 down, cut it to one, but win on the road and back in front in this best of seven series. It continues Thursday night right back here at the TD Garden for game four. Tip off shortly after nine o'clock Eastern.